Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is July 14th, and it is time for the market overview. <clears throat> Looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, XOI, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, and SLV. How about that for speed? Anyways, going on with the Dow. Uh, once again, we get another inverse hammery looking candle. Not pretty like the one yesterday, but uh, same uh, essential design. We can see that the short term moving averages, yeah, they're pointing down, uh, but it is still just this uh, little consolidation area while the bullish bar gets further separation and expansion. So, am I worried about this? Not really. Not yet. Not on the Dow. So, uh, further tick down on the CCI, Stochastic. RSI, MACD, and MACD histogram. Looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Well, it does and it doesn't. Um, we were having a nice little rally this morning. Looked like it was going to uh, be the atypical go back and uh, consolidate and then continue on its way up. And by the close, it did not do that. So um, I was on the road. <laughs> I left right as... Uh, right as that was beginning to happen so uh, unbelievable but what do we have here well we're going to go to the 60 minutes and see what we have well we have divergences CCI divergence uh, lower low here higher low here price does not confirm uh, same thing with the stochastic have a uh, lower low here, higher low here, higher low here, higher low here, slanting up, prices slanting down, divergence. RSI divergence. We have a low here, we have a higher low here, uh, prices slanting down, RSI slanting up, divergence. Uh, also with the MACD histogram, have a low here and a higher low here, price going down. MACD histogram ticking up so uh, yeah, it might take a few days I mean we were looking at divergences on the 60 minute uh, which is why we were expecting uh, the downtrend that uh, that we just had this so now we're uh, using it in the opposite direction so well there's what I'm looking for SPX now SPX uh, way more uh, you know since the beginning of this down move uh, SPX has had way more than the Dow, and we can see that uh, we have gone through the flatline bar. Uh, we do have more crossover on the short-term moving averages, unlike the Dow. And uh, so, so yes, definitely, this one is much more uh, bearish than the Dow. This one looks, uh, you know, much more possible for getting the flip and continuing on its way. So, you know, if you're uh, bearish right now, that's great. And if you're bullish, it's not great. And if you're uh, mostly neutral, like I am, then uh, it doesn't matter. So, just like the Dow, 60 minute, uh, we have our divergences. Notice that the RSI, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the CCI is not a divergence, but we do have one on the stochastic, slanting up. We have one on the RSI, have lows here, Higher low here, slanting up, prices slanting down. And on the MACD histogram, low here, higher low here, divergence, just like the Dow. Okay, well, that's all well and good, but um, how about the VIX? Well, we didn't get a hammer, hammery looking thing on the VIX to mirror the uh, Dow and the SPX. We have a spinning top. And I hate spinning tops. You can see that the uh, upper part of the day almost touched the upper Bollinger Band. And uh, beyond that, not too much has changed from yesterday. Take up on CCI, ultra high stochastic. RSI still neutral and a very small uptick on the MACD histogram and the uh, MACD itself. Well, take another look here is the 60 minute VIX notice all of this 
ugly, wobbly, bubbly, just badness in the short-term moving averages. You can even see it on the uh, long-term moving averages. This is uh, not attractive. Not attractive at all. And uh, beyond that, divergence on CCI, high here, lower high here, lower high here, slanting down, price is going up, divergence. Uh, we do not have one on the stochastic. You could look at the bottom here and say this is a you know, higher low, lower low, lower low, you know, slanting down, but I prefer tops, but uh, anyways. Um, RSI, high, high, lower high, lower high, slanting down, prices going up, divergence. MACD histogram, peak here and peak here, slanting down, prices going up, divergence. So, ugly moving averages and lots of divergences. Um, I would say that that will need to fix itself. And if we do happen to get a down tick, let's see here. Well, on the 60 minute, if we got a down tick, it's only going to go down to 20. If we get a down tick on the daily, which is entirely possible as the moving averages are extended, um, it's going to be somewhere in the 18s. So that's a decent move. So I'll be looking for, uh, which would also happen to coincide with uh, the flat line bar, uh, which is uh, completely reasonable considering that it is, uh, you know, going up to the upper Bollinger Band. And when it does that, you can see from history, it does that and it goes back to the bar. It does that, it goes back to the bar. It does it, goes back to the bar. Bar, bar, bar. So does it go to the, goes to the bar so I would not be surprised whatsoever for it to go back to the bar and XOI we have an inverse hammer so possible reversal signal is inside the bar and uh, the bar right now is bearish so you could uh, theorize that you know it should get stuck there. Uh, secondary is all mixed, neutral, above neutral, low, and neutral. Not too much to see with uh, oil, which is fine. TNA, big, massive, ugly red candle. Ugh. And uh, notice it is at the flatline bar. Um, we do have crossover occurring on the short-term moving averages. This looks uh, pretty darn bad. CCI now finally down below the zero. Stochastic very low. RSI ticking down. MACD ticking down. And uh, histogram ticking down. So we talked about in the forum the other day about too fast, uh, too quick, too fast. And uh, do we have any divergences? Um, well, if we do bottom instead of top, yes, we do have divergences. MACD histogram, uh, peak, higher peak, slanting up, price is going down, RSI, you have all these uh, lower peaks and higher one uh, slanting up, these slanting down. Same thing with the stochastic, uh, you have a low peak here, higher low here, slanting up, going down. And uh, we do not have one on the CCI. So, although I prefer the tops, um, the bottoms can be valid as well. So, um, do I trust the down move to the 80? Um, sure I do, but uh, just not that fast. So, I think that it will uh, retrace some when we have a positive day and uh, that day will be coming maybe soon and UUP the problem of all of our problems um, nice green candle today and it, this one is so news driven uh, you have the debt ceiling talk you have the Euroland problems um, I hesitate to say that news is is going to rule the day and that technicals are not going to matter uh, 
that much, but just for fun, might as well look at, um, might as well look and see if there's any divergences here. And I don't really see too much. I mean, you could say that there's a little tiny one on CCI, and uh, that by itself I don't think is going to make one lick of difference. So I'm just going to move on to FXE. FXE mirrors it with a big red candle. So, and with the FXE, uh, there was something that I had uh, failed to mention on uh, last night's video, which was we had an uptick. And uh, anyways, that uptick uh, target was met today. And uh, so this is fixed. Um, it can continue to do whatever it is that it wants to go do with itself. And uh, you know, that'll be very dependent upon the Euro news and the debt ceiling talk. Um, speculation, but I would imagine if the debt ceiling stuff is not taken care of quickly, the Euro will firm up. And I think that if Euro gets into the 1.43s, uh, then that will uh, be the um, required amount for us to get our little move up before it fails and uh, we continue down. But that is a speculation and a guess. And going on to GLD, another move up. And uh, we have a spinning top. Um, it did not go sideways, it did not go sideways and down. It went sideways and up, so uh, at least it is not outside the Bollinger Band. Uh, you'll notice we still have a further separation of the short-term moving averages. Notice they are still extremely uh, uniform. And uh, so this does look very nice for gold. Mixed bag with secondaries. CCI down, stochastic down, RSI still going up, and MACD and MACD histogram still going up. It still looks nice, but it sure does look really high to me. But uh, there it is. And SLV, amazingly, another day up, even though we had a red bar. Uh, it did manage to pull itself out of the upper Bollinger Band, and um, TCI massively high, stochastic going above the 80, RSI clicking up close to the 70, and MACD and MACD histogram still, uh, for the most part, neutral. But um, Silver needs a lot more movement before I even begin to trust it. So there you have it. We are uh, getting our uh, catching our breath, but we're not uh, catching our breath to the upside. I do think that that will be coming uh, very shortly, maybe Friday, maybe Monday. And I think that after it fails to uh, exceed either this peak or this peak, it will be on its way down. If it does not uh, exceed this peak, then our uh, little head and shoulders thing that we were working on uh, will still be valid. Hey, maybe it'll even go up there and tag that line and uh, and then go on its merry way. So it'll be very interesting over the next few days. And if it just breaks down, well, you know, it can entirely, possibly, and uh, most people think likely uh, do that right now. So there it is. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.